Hi and welcome to Meet the Beat. Today we show you how to braise lamb shanks in a romer top or clay cooker as well as how to barbecue them afterwards. Let's start by browning off our lamb shanks in a hot skillet. We use a neutral tasting canola oil for the browning off of the lamb shanks. And you want to brown off your shanks for around 6 minutes in total. Remember to turn them over every once in a while so they get browned off on all edges. And here it's very important to brown them off as you get this golden crust on the meat and that gives a lot of flavor to the dish. We season our lamb shanks with salt. And as you can see these are nice pieces of meat and I can assure you that it's gonna go nice and tender by the end of, uh, of the process. We are braising these in a clay cooker or romer top using uh, a bracing liquid in this case it is um, stock and um, a little bit of wine so once we are close to having browned off all the lamb shanks we can actually take them off the heat and then what we want to do is we want to prepare the sauce for the bracing that is going into the clay cooker with our shanks so we chop up a small onion and one little carrot, saute that around in the skillet, just using the fats from the lamb. And we uh, take a couple of cloves of garlic, here we have four big cloves that are cut up roughly, and we add that to the skillet. This is going to give a nice taste and uh, round flavor to the dish, and that is lovely. And now we pour on a little bit of vegetable stock. And we put in some ground cumin. It's gonna give again a nice round flavor and uh, we really like a lot of taste in this dish. The lamb shanks are gonna braise deliciously in the liquid so it's important that uh, it tastes of something and that we can extract a good sauce from this liquid. Toss that around a bit. Throw in a couple of bay leaves. as well as a good dash of red wine. And here we use a good red wine, the same red wine that we drank with the meal, because why not just use a good, good, good wine uh, when it's going into to the clay cooker with your meat. You would want the meat to be in the best hands possible. And we find that that is with a good red wine that we would also actually eat ourselves or drink ourselves. Here we just add a dash of pepper, black pepper. And hereafter we are actually ready to put our lamb shanks and our sauce into the clay cooker. So, first of all, put in the lamb shanks into the romer top that has been soaking for around 20 minutes with water in it. So that it's ready to be uh, used. And uh, the lamb shanks go in. And then on top of them we will pour the juices from the meat that has been uh, lying on the plate with the meat. And uh, in the end, the sauce. Remember to leave some vegetables on top. They will only give more moisture uh, to the meat, make it go even more tender. And uh, then we're ready to close the lid onto our cooker and leave it in the oven for around three and a half hours at 175 degrees Celsius, that is 350 Fahrenheit. And the result, as you can see, is this delicious piping hot pot full of tender lamb and uh, a delicious sauce with lots of flavor both from the meat and from the wine and the vegetable stock. And we are now going down into our uh, little yard where we have a barbecue on fire. It's a very hot barbecue or grill and uh, on this you're just gonna be putting your braised lamb shacks. We do this because we want this delicious barbecued surface sort of crunchy um, crust to our lamb. You could as well enjoy the lamb the way it is when it comes out of the uh, clay cooker. That is also completely fine. But we just we really like this uh, crunchiness, especially in summertime when it's possible to go outside and barbecue. You have to take advantage. And what you can be sure of here is that you have lovely tender meat in the middle. 
um, we give them five minutes on the hot barbecue and um, after that we can actually serve up our dish as you can see in the pictures here our lamb shanks are going nice and crusty and barbecued on the outside which was exactly what we were looking for we serve our lamb shanks with a good tzatziki homemade some boiled new potatoes and a little bit of the sauce from the clay cooker on top that's gonna give a nice uh, flavor as well we always like a nice garnish in this case a bit of chervil on top for a green color always great it could be parsley as well and you just enjoy this delicious dinner i really really recommend you to try it out especially during the summer season thanks for watching please subscribe to meet the beat here on youtube and on instagram as well and we are looking forward to seeing you again later bye